Hey, what's up you guys? So welcome to Freshly Popped, my brand new video series powered by my friends at Cosmic Comics where we talk to you about the latest Funko Pops in store, some of the trends that we've seen, things that we're speculating on. We'll probably do a couple of giveaways while we're in the mix and all in all, just having a chat about those little pieces of a vinyl cocaine we call Funko Pops. Now, this is a brand new series, so the nature and identity of it will evolve as we go along. And um, let me have your thoughts. Tell me more about what you are thinking about, what you're looking for, what you'd like to know about, and I'll try and get all of that in there as well. Okay, so let's start out by talking about my haul. Okay, so uh, I popped over to Cosmic Comics, and uh, as you know, Cosmic Comics have recently decided that they are going all in on Funko Pops, and they brought in a lot of 5,000 different Funko Pops, and that will continue to grow. So we are talking about all sorts of crazy things. There are some new pops, and there are lots and lots and lots of old ones so that will also help you to uh, fill out your collection as well. Because I think the biggest problem here in South Africa is that because the Funko Pops are spread across so thinly all over the show, it's very, very difficult to complete your sets. So Cosmic Comics now has the means to allow you to do that uh, because they are stocking a hell of a lot of slightly older pops as well. And in the mix, there are a lot of vaulted pops. Okay, so let's talk about the term vaulted pops. So when we talk about vaulted pops, what we refer to are pops that are no longer being made. In other words, that particular design their particular mold they're done with it it's a one and done thing and uh, you won't be able to get it anymore if the character has to come out again it'll probably have a slight um, adaptation of the sculpt or a different feature or something like that but the one in and, you know the thing in and of itself won't be available anymore some examples of these are of course this Rocky Balboa Funko Pop these Michael Jackson Funko Pops and uh, of course some of these other Disney ones as well uh, the Ursula in particular was one that was like fairly popular here in South Africa and now when you look at it you can see like you know how much it's gone up by so yeah you know these vaulted ones hard to come by but uh, definitely worth picking up okay so let us have a look over here so like I said I picked up a few and uh, I'm gonna start out with okay so I'm a big My Hero Academia fan so I have um, the All Might in his weekend form and of course I have all right in his silver age um uh, silver age costume so those are my two my hero academia ones then i was able to pick up a mr me six from rick and morty right so we'll talk about that in just a moment and last but certainly not least the one that i was most amused by and that of course is my pikachu so uh <laughs> i gotta tell you like i was super excited about that one of there as well so let me just put these aside over here and let's talk about each of them in turn okay so pikachu over here um this is a tiny little pop it is so cute i believe that cosmic had about um, I think it was like 36 in stock, so I'm not sure if they still have stock by the time this video comes out. It's such a cute little pop, like I mean I love this thing. So it's slightly smaller than the average pop, but um, I mean that's to be expected, I mean it is Pikachu. So I just want to get him out. <laughs> I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay and I'm back, uh, so yeah shame man, my poor Pikachu went flying over there, that was like, we just like Pikachu! <laughs> it was a like quick attack. I didn't see it coming. Uh, okay, that was a Pokemon joke. I show you if you watch the cartoon, um, it, it, it was hilarious. Okay, so as I said, very, very small pop. <laughs> I mean, this thing is tiny. Um, let's see, do I have another pop? I don't have any Funko Pops out of here. Um, I'll unbox another one just now. As you can see, a very, very tiny pop. It is so cute. I love this thing. It's so cute. I want to die. Okay, so his head does move around a little bit over there. And uh, yeah, this, <laughs> I love this thing over here. It looks just so happy and so cute. And it just on like, I can't deal right now. So yeah, this is my, my Pikachu pop. And uh, there are a couple other Pokemon as well. And I definitely want to pick up a couple of them. So I myself, I'm looking for a Squirtle and a Charmander and a Bulbasaur. So I would probably just want to get the three starter Pokemon. I've got the Pikachu, so the other three starters and uh, from the first gen Pokemon. And I think I'll probably go for like a couple of the other Pokemon, like, you know, in the mix. So my favorite Pokemon, like possibly like Mewtwo and possibly um, a Blastoise possibly a Charizard, so yeah, you know, like, like I, I, I'll have a look, I mean, there's like a crap ton of Pokemon out there, so I'm really, really hoping that it all works out and they tend to, and they get to bring out more of these, um, 
Pokemon inspired pops as the days go by. Uh, one thing I would like to, okay, okay, so this is like true in, in true pop form, right? So, like I said, it's significantly smaller than other pops and uh, very, very stylized as well. I would have liked to have seen, you know, if they could have added just like one more piece of articulation, maybe in the tail or at least over here in the ear so you can move them up and down. But then I guess that would take away from the, the Funko Pop aesthetic of it. But on the whole, very, very cute little thing over here. I'm very, very happy with it. So, yeah, that's my Pikachu Pop, right? Then, now, Rick and Morty is currently out, so they are on season 4. We waited so many years for season 4, and we haven't seen Mr. Me6 in this particular season just yet. So, I hope that, you know, he'd make an appearance. But for those of you who don't know, uh, Mr. Me6 is a character in Rick and Morty, and he's essentially created for purpose. So, whatever it is that you need to do, you can get a Mr. Me6 that appears. He, you know, that kind of pops out and does whatever it is that he's created to do, whatever task and assignment it is. And then after that, he disappears so there we have mr me6 over here very very nice one as well uh, i really, really like the bright blue and the red over here contrasts very very nicely with it as well so this is a pretty cool one over here there is another one there is another version of it and uh, i think that one there has like, uh, like 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 some adaptations on it so yeah but this is really really cool and i think that i am going to do a giveaway with this mr me6 so tell you what I will do a giveaway for this Mr. Me6. All you need to do is tell me in the comments how many Funko Pops the Cosmic Comics bring in last week. So, um, they, I, I mentioned the number slightly earlier. So, how many of them did they bring in? And you will go into the draw to win this Mr. Me6. And I will announce the winner, I think, at the end of the next video. Okay, then moving on, let us talk about All Might. Right. Now, these ones here, I actually want to keep in box, right? I actually, I don't want to unbox these ones. But, like, I have to say, I am so impressed with these ones over here. Especially this, you know what, actually, you know what, let's, let, 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 let's just do it. Let's just do it, right? Let me just unbox it. Uh, I have to say, you know, and I, I, I often uh, comment about this, where once upon a time, you know, when, when, when Funko Pops were first released, people were all uppity about the fact that, you know what, they all look the same and, you know, there's nothing going on over here. But... When you look at the amount of detail on this pop over here, I mean, this is just magnificent. So I'm going to start out with the obvious thing, his hair. So there's so much going on over here. Everything is sculpted. His eyes are sculpted as well. So, you know, like uh, his eyeballs are, um, you know, popping out of here, protruding slightly. And uh, the black, you know, shall I say, the contrast between the two of them is on point. And even the way they sculpted the face of you, you know, they really have those sunken cheekbones and stuff that All Might, All Might has, rather, in his uh, weakened form. And even over here, all throughout the body, like, you know, you can see there's a fair amount of detail over here on his hands and uh, even his belt and here on the shirt as well. You know, all sculpted details over here, very, very nicely done indeed. I note that this one over here, because of the nature of the sculpt knight, doesn't turn its head the way other ones do. But this is a really, really, really cool Funko Pop it has come on it has a phenomenal amount of detail over here and it's it's really, really nice i'm very very impressed with this one over here so all might in his weekend form and uh with my hero academia coming out pretty soon you know you probably want to start stocking up on the my hero academia pops i should mention though that uh if you are interested in picking up the rest of the line so um they also have a new midoriya coming out all might as a teacher uh momo yayarozu uh kirishima Tokoyami as well as All for One all coming out as well in this line. So yeah, you know, like I mean, chat to my friends at Cosmic Comics. You can reach them over there at that email address or check up on the website appearing on the screen now and you'll be able to pick up some of these uh, amazing pops and just talk to the guys over there. They'll probably be able to keep it aside for you as well. And then the other one is All Might uh, in his Silver Age costume, right? Now, I'm really hoping that at some point I will be able to get him in his uh, current, you know, in his modern costume because I really, really like that. But the Silver Age one is really, really nice as well. And again, you know, great scalp work, you know, like all the main points of All Might's uh, costume are here. I like this little flight stand uh, that he comes with. It does not appear to be detachable. So just be careful with that. And as you can see, he's like, I'm here. <laughs> it's awesome. So, yeah, very, very nice, very, very bold. This is a kick ass pop as well. So, yeah, I got my two All Mites over here. So, this I think will actually make a nice display. So, I think I'm just making like a nice display base over here and I'll maybe do some art in the background and I can have these two displayed like this. So, this is going to be very, very nice. Oh. 
And that's another thing I really like about Funko Pops. You know, they lend themselves really, really nicely to display options. So, and now, especially with some of the newer ones that they have, um, you know, different poses and the like, it's very, very nice, you know, very, very interesting stuff indeed. Okay, so if you have any interest in these, then be sure to contact my friends from Cosmic Comics and they'll be able to order for you. Or alternatively, you can pre order via the website and uh, you can make sure that you never miss another one as well. Now, Funko Pop hunting is also a lot of fun. So, what you want to do is you want to head on over to Cosmic Comics, go downstairs to the Funko Pop store on site, and you can pour through tens of thousands of Funko Pops. You can look to your heart's desire and just be sure to check out the amazing specials they have in store as well. Alrighty then, so let's call it there for this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you collected. What are your latest pickups? What are you excited about? What have you pre-ordered? What disappoints you? Like, what did you go looking for and you weren't able to find? So I will chat to you guys soon. Just remember to enter the giveaway. I got the Mr. Me6 coming up over there. Just remember T's and C's do apply, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, be sure to like, share, subscribe, follow, do all of that stuff. I'll chat to you guys soon. Peace.